Today I'm gonna show you how to make daikiri cocktail. Hi guys, my name is Isis from Miami to the world. Welcome to my channel. Daikiri is one of the classic cocktails that's categorized under sour category. As we did whiskey sour, and you can see recipe right here for whiskey sour if you missed it. So daikiri is technically a sour as well. So the sour, the cocktail that consists of spirit, sour, so it's lemon or lime juice, and some sweetener. So it's usually sugar syrup, maybe honey syrup, of course it might be something else, but classically it's mostly sugar syrup. And I'll show you today how to make three versions of amazing daikiri. Let's start with the first one. And the first one is going to be a very classical daikiri. Uh, it could be debated what's the proportions right for the ikiri, but I'm just showing you everything experienced with my own experience. And for me personally, the best ikiri is with the proportions 8 to 1. It's quite strong, yes, that's what I like. And that's one of the best daikiris I've ever had in my life. So that's how I usually do it. We are going to use a coupe glass. And you know, as always, if we're using coupe glass or martini glass, we have to chill it first. A little stir. And let's put the glass aside. Now, we are going to shake everything in a shaker. And the first ingredient is rum. The best way to do the daiquiri is to use a Cuban rum because daiquiri is a Cuban cocktail. It was invented in Cuba and I believe that the Cuban rum is the best for it. But in America we don't have Cuban product. So I'm using Bacardi as Bacardi is a bit closer to Cuba because it was originated in Cuba and then it moved to Puerto Rico. I'm going to use two ounces of this rum. I don't know, as in Cuba, I always like to add a bit more. <laughs> I've been to Cuba myself. It was an amazing experience and I tasted the real Cuban daiquiri there in La Floridita and we are going to do the La Floridita daiquiri the next. But now let's finish with this one. So, two ounces of Cuban rum or something closer to Cuban rum. And of course you can experiment and use any different rum. But I believe that you should use some white or some light rum because the daiquiri is a fresh cocktail. But you know, imagination and experiments is always allowed. But the classic way it's light or white rum. Two ounces. And as the proportion is eight to one, we are going to use two parts of sour. We are going to use a fresh lime juice and we are going to use just a half of an ounce. I'm going to squeeze it straight in the shaker. Usually half lime is definitely enough. And we are going to use one fourth of an ounce of two to one sugar syrup. Just a bit. That's it. Not too much, not too little. Everything is in the glass. Now let's put it full of ice. And let's give it a good shake. Full of love, energy and passion and full of bartender's dance. Oh yeah. Discharging the ice. And straining everything to the glass. This time I'll use double strainer. I believe that there is cr crushed ice there after my shaking, so I'll use double strainer. And we are going to garnish very simple, only a lime wheel on the edge of the glass. Classic decorate, my favorite recipe. 
eight parts of spirit, two parts of sour, and one part of sweet. Cheers, guys. Second hour version of Daikiri today is going to be banana Daikiri. And I'm going to show you how to make banana Daikiri with a shaker if you don't have a blender. It's really easy to make it with a shaker as banana is very soft fruit and it's really amazing in Daikiri. So we need a shaker. I'm going to use a raw glass, but we don't need now, so I put it aside and I'm adding all ingredients straight into the shake. But first, we will need half very ripe banana. I'm cutting half banana, peeling it, and put it straight into the shaker. Now I'm taking the muddler and muddling everything just to be a mash. And now we are going to pour all the liquid ingredients into our cocktail. The first ingredient is rum. We're going to use light rum or white rum and I'm going to use two ounces of the rum. Another ingredient is fresh lime juice. You always use fresh juice if you can. If you can't, yeah, it's understandable. And I'm going to use one ounce of the juice. Enough. One ounce of lime juice. And I'm going to use half ounce of sugar syrup. Two to one ratio. Now we're going to shake everything, lots of ice. And going to show our energy to the cocktail. And of course, love, passion goes into it always without saying. And we're gonna strain everything to the glass. I'm not going to use fine strainer because banana is quite thick. And I'm going to put some more rice. And garnish everything with this amazing little dried banana here we go banana daikiri cheers guys and the third version of our daikiri today is going to be the classic iconic daikiri la floridita five years ago i've been to cuba myself and i had this honor to be in the classic iconic bar la floridita and taste their daikiri and I learned the recipe and I want to share that recipe with you today. We will need a blender because in Florida they do the Akiri with a blender. So it's a bit frozen, but not so much frozen as most people think it, it might be. And the first our ingredient is going to be rum. The best way to use it's a Cuban rum, definitely because this bar is in Cuba and the Kira La Floridita is really Cuban cocktail. But in America, we don't have Cuban rum, so we are going to use Bacardi this time. And I'm going to use two ounces of this rum. And a bit more, because like in Cuba, we always like to put a bit more. Then we're going to use half lime fresh juice. Straight into the blender. We're going to use one bar spoon of white sugar. And in Floridita, we use maraschino liqueur. We use one bar spoon of this liqueur. 
Now we're going to put ice and Bill taught me how to measure the ice. So we are going to make the cocktail in this glass because they are making cocktails exactly in like that glasses. So they put all full glass of the ice and they put that ice into the blender. We have full glass of ice, straight into the blender. Everything is measured. Now we just need to push the button. It should be ready. Smells amazing. Cocktail glass. A little bit left. And in Floridita, they use small straws and it's really easier to drink this cocktail with a small straw because it's kind of frozen. It's not so much frozen, but it's like half frozen. So I'm using these amazing pasta life straws. It's an environmentally friendly. It looks nice and it's very convenient to use in the cocktail. Here you go. They even use a smaller straw. So you could cut it or look, we can do it like that very easily. Oh. And we have a small straw. The Kiri La Floridita. Cheers guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got inspired and I, I hope you got new ideas for new recipes. If you have some other amazing Daikiru recipes, so please share in the comments below. I really would like to know it and please give me some support. Hit the button, subscribe, like this video so more people will see it. And I really enjoy doing these videos and sharing my experience with you. So thank you very much and I'll see you in next video.